Oh, welcome to our new home on the Sword and Laser YouTube channel proper. And uh, if you haven't seen these before, I am Tom Merritt, host of Sword and Laser. Check in the mailbox from the Sword and Laser mail room, which is a post office box. But I, uh, I got these uh, these three books. And what I do each time is I just open them up. And we take a look at the books together. So it's like an unboxing or book haul. We don't know what we're getting, though, until we pull them out of the package. This one is Pathfinder Tales, Pirate's Prophecy by Chris A. Jackson. And I like these advanced reader copies. They call them ARCs if you're in the biz uh, because they usually print the availability right there on the front cover. Publication date, January 2016. We've been getting a lot of these Pathfinder Tales as they come out in the, uh, in the mail. And uh, this one's by Chris A. Jackson. Secrets make for dangerous possessions. Captain Torius Vin and the crew of the Stargazer have renounced their piratical ways. Oh, good for them. Instead, becoming abolitionist privateers sanctioned by Andorran, a free democratic nation. Kind of sounds like they're still being pirates to me, but there you go. All right. Our next piece of mail is flatter. And it is another advanced reader copy. This one is... Transgalactic by James Gunn. Uh, this one is also coming out March 2016. So this one's even farther off. But this one's sci-fi. Get a sneak peek at the cover there if you want. Uh, when Riley and Asha finally reached the planet Terminal and found the Transcendental Machine, a matter transmission device built by an ancient race, they chose to be translated. Now in possession of intellectual and physical powers that set them above human limitations, the machine has transported them to two separate unknown planets among a possibility of billions. Riley and Asha know that together they can change the galaxy, so they tempt to do the impossible, find each other. That sounds good. I like that. Billions of planets, superpowers, but we still can't find each other. Or can we? Come in March 2016. Uh, James Gunn. Nice. All right, last one. Love that sound. This one's going to be a hardback because that's this kind of envelope. It is Michael Livingston's The Shards of Heaven. Uh, it's got praise from Mary Robinette Cole, Bernard Conwell, and Professor Kelly DeVries on the back. Real history spiced with a compelling dose of fantasy, it says. All right. Julius Caesar is dead. Spoiler! Assassinated on the Senate floor and the glory that is Rome has been torn in two. Octavian, Caesar's ambitious great nephew and adopted son, vies with Mark Antony and Cle Okay, okay, we know. Uh, I guess a lot of people don't, though. But as civil war rages from Rome to Alexandria and vast armies and navies battle for supremacy, a secret conflict may truly shape the court. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Juba, Numidian prince and adopted brother of Octavian, has embarked on a ruthless quest for the shards of heaven, lost treasures said to possess the very power of the gods, or the one god play into the monotheists are we driven by vengeance uh juba has already attained the fabled trident of poseidon which may also be the staff once wielded by moses you know just in case you're on that side now he will stop at nothing to obtain the other shards even if it means burning the entire world to the ground that is clever i love that is it the prize trident of poseidon well uh if you're roman maybe uh unless you're roman catholic then it's moses's staff this is a jacket photographed by Larry Rostant, a jacket designed by Peter Lutgen. We've, hear, we've heard his name on here before. Uh, so these are actual uh, Roman, uh, looks like ma male, Roman, ma Roman, Roman meal. No, that's bread. Uh, anyway, Shards of Heaven, and this is coming out November 24th. So just a few days away. Check it out. Hope you like these unboxing haul thingies. Uh, we'll keep doing them every week as we keep getting books. Let us know what you think and what you'd like us to do with them. And whether you buy and read any of these books, let people know how good they are. We'll see you next time or catch you on the Sword and Laser podcast at swordandlaser.com.